Arkansas legislators made quick work of this morning signing tax cut legislation to finish off the special session at the Capitol. Governor Ace Hutchinson signed it into law this afternoon, which means we now know where a chunk of that $1.6 billion in surplus money will go. Our Andrew Epperson is live outside the Capitol tonight. Andrew, what does this mean for people watching at home right now? Hello. Well, for most Arkansans, it means you'll have to pay 150 bucks less than you would otherwise on your state income taxes. For wealthy Arkansans, you can save even more. Quick three-day session. Legislators pushed it through really quickly. The bill and emergency clause are passed. And with that, the bill is passed. The door closes on this week's special session. Arkansas's legislature passing income tax cut bills. Great job, Bible. Governor Asa Hutchinson signing it into law Thursday afternoon. That is a transfer of wealth from the government uh, to the taxpayer and it could not come at a more important time. The law drops the top individual income tax rate to under 5%, plus gives most Arkansans a temporary non-refundable $150 tax credit, which will kick in next year. Hutchinson says people with $20,000 in taxable income will save more than $200. $50,000? Almost 500 bucks. That'll help them absorb a little bit some of these higher gas prices, a little bit of this grocery price increases, and just the general inflation. Republican State Senator Mark Johnson says he thinks this could have waited until January. The lawmakers wanted to address immediate needs, even though Arkansans will have to wait to see the impact. When people are hurting, we need to return some of that tax money to them in some way. I wasn't a fan of the special session. I didn't think we needed it. Tax cuts were going to go into effect moving forward. Democratic State Senator Larry Teague wound up voting for the legislation, but he says he fears this will mostly help people who don't need it. We could certainly advance those others at the end of when we got back and when they got back in January. So I wasn't a big fan of it. A push to extend the session to address teacher pay and other problems was blocked. And Hutchinson says he's glad legislators stuck to the reason he called the special session in the first place. I've not seen a more efficient and orderly and effective special session that we've had. We're in recess. Hutchinson also uh, signed a school safety grant law. It'll set aside $50 million for that. We don't know what the exact plans will look like just yet. Live in Little Rock, Andrew Apperson, KRK4 News.